Okay guys, so after extensive research there, um, PTCP has concluded now that uh, I was right. So the drone is gonna go up. Uh, almost two days has come undone there. But yeah, so the drone is gonna go up. Um, the new updates that they're talking about as of the beginning of July, just specify um, around drones that want to fly in the specific category. Um, you can still fly in the commercial, uh, commercially in the open category uh, if your drone is under 250 grams. So, yeah, the, uh, what, the, what they're talking about and the advice that they've been given is relevant to drones over 250 grams because they would present a greater risk during flight um, compared to, yeah, compared to a smaller drone. So, um, the rain, it's just started bloody raining, typical that is. Uh, so we're just going to wait for this rain to sort of trickle off um, and pass. And then, yeah, we're going to get the drone up and over um, and get the shots that we said we were going to get. And, uh, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. But just for the time being, just going to let this rain ease off. So just uh, to conserve, conserve some battery, I'm just going to stop the recording here. Don't think I'm going to get particularly bothered again by anybody. So I might just go wait in the reception, to be honest, um, for this rain to pass. Okay, guys, so the rain has eased off. So I'm going to get a quick flight in before uh, it picks up again. It's looking rather cloudy, but I reckon we can uh, stave off the rain and... Yeah, I reckon we can stave off the rain and get some good footage quickly. Don't think it will take long. Um, if it starts raining again, I'll just have to bring the drone in. Here comes the sergeant. Where is he? That way. Pardon? Yeah. I looked into it. The... No, I've generally come to see yeah. what it looks like. Yeah, no worries, I'm happy to show you. So yeah, it's pretty good uh, pretty good um, quality. So this one records in a maximum of 2.7K. Uh, obviously, like I said, this one doesn't have a digital zoom, so if I wanted to get like closer shot, I would have to like dip the drone lower. Yeah. But can you see where it is? Yeah, 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 yeah you can yeah, see yeah. it, yeah. So I've got to maintain that visual line of sight. As long as I've got that, you know, there's nothing What's, wrong. What site are you looking at for the commercial stuff? Pardon? What site are you looking at? The CAA website, UAV, UAV hub. I mean, at the moment, obviously I'm flying, but... Um, but yeah, all, the only information I could find about commercial use is if you're flying a drone over 250 grams. Um, sorry, you have to bear with me because I'm concentrating on not <laughs> crashing anywhere as well. Um, but yeah, so all I could find is that the commercial to fly in, which would then put you into the specific category. Yeah. Um, and that's for drones over 250 grams. Um, so you can fly in the open category with anything under 20 grams, but it's, it's all very intricate, to be honest with you, Sergeant. Um, but, I mean, if you wanted to get it, you give me like five minutes to get a sweet brand, and I'll happily talk to you, but obviously I'm trying to do both at once, and it's not safe for no, me no, to be. Yeah, yeah. If you're happy two, to just stand there and watch. Come out. One, to see what you found, and two, to yeah. have a look. <laughs> see what well, I found? I'm There's nothing to wide, is there? Just, uh, uh, no, I just like to do shots of, uh, so I've got a nice uh, sweep shot of the new uh, custody unit not on like level where I can see into the window got it from above just a sweep shot across the side just makes for good viewing like nice dynamic shots do and you that. edit all of these as well so do you do a little part of the systems you use I, it, yeah I mean it depends like sometimes you know this one probably won't get edited heavily because I'm talking while flying so the, yeah, yeah. the two will need to match up but if I'm not having a conversation with anybody at the same time then I don't include this audio and I'll just edit the dynamic shots together um, and stitch them together just people like to get like dynamic aerial shots of stuff they don't normally get to see really and that's about it so yeah it's just that's, um it's that, nothing interesting it's just a no of absolutely yeah but um but you know it's, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. No, yeah I've already played with the sergeant. It's suspicious because people attach stuff to drones. You don't know what's being dropped. Yeah. Soon. That's fair enough. So, like, as I said, sergeant, no, no problem with anybody coming and having a conversation as long as it's done respectfully. And we, we've already spoken for a good yeah, like, half hour. Like, it just looked really good. Yeah. No. Around as well, I thought, well. No, you're yeah. all good. You're all good. Yeah, yeah, as you, see, as you drive down here, anyway, yeah, yeah. Um, even people that are police officers are ringing it in. Are they? Yeah, it generates so much work. It is unbelievable. That, that's, that's crazy, isn't it? But what can you do? You Maybe. lost it, haven't you? Oh, okay. It's up there. <laughs> I was trying to, but, trying to look yeah. For it. So that, this cost what 250 quid well mine was 350 360 because i got one that comes with two spare batteries because they oh, only yeah, last yeah, half yeah. hour each yeah. um so if i'm out for the day then you know one battery ain't really gonna cut it um because they take like an hour to recharge on the power bank yeah yeah so do you not get any interest with like birds or anything like that today do no they? i'll tell you what they're really intuitive <laughs> at avoiding it um oh, they're yeah. really really intuitive with uh, with avoiding it um but yeah, hang on, where was I? Yeah, here we go. So yeah, so like, I'm only at I'm at 104 meters there. You know, I can do like a nice little swivel shot. So I've done some looking. So, like, so yeah, it yeah, will tell. Yeah. You've heard that? It will tell me there max yeah, yeah. altitude reach. That's as high as it will let me go. I mean, to be fair, I can force it to go higher, but it warns you. But that's the max. I'm um, guessing that's about 118. 100, 119. It's stopping me at. Yeah, so 120 is the max. Yeah. But then, look, it's nice. You can just get like a nice. Oh, actually, you can change the mode. So put it in sport mode, which is ridiculously quick. I don't, I don't fuck around with that. You can put it in slow, <laughs> but you can put it in slow mode, and you can just get like a nice sort of swivel down shot of like a, the whole canvas. Really, you can change like the camera lang uh, camera angle. You know, it's just fun to play with. Really, it's just, it's just yeah, interesting. Nice. Yeah. We went to have a skid. Oh, where? We went to have a skid. Didn't come to force. Oh, right. So, yeah, we've got a yeah. big custody. So, yeah. so, is that what the is that the old custody suite? Just that yeah. little block there? So, that is that there. Yeah. It's literally an old custody block. So That's tiny like compared to what you've got now, isn't it? Like yeah. yeah. It's class and super so. Oh, uh, okay. So, but yeah, oh, fair enough. Yeah, so just uh, putting it in slow mode just makes uh, the, the shot a lot smoother, the turning a lot smoother. Do you obviously do a lot about the cinematography? Uh, a bit, yeah. So it's got to be a just, bit more than just a hobby. No, it is honestly, it is just a hobby, you know. It's one of those things you pick up as you go along. It's... So did you do any like, courses or anything like that? No, no. No, honestly, it's just a bit of fun. You know, and uh, same with like the legislation on there around public order and, you know, breach the peace, terrorism act, all these things that, you know, we interact with a lot in terms of going out videoing around police stations. Um, you know, then you look up what you need to look up. At the end of the day, the legislation is all there online because they say ignorance of the law is no excuse because it's there for us to know. So go and learn it. And then, you know, you can't put yourself in a position. You were here just as that was being built. Huh? Not really um, the, the fire extinguishers stop. were going in, yeah, when I was last here. I actually came here that time because about a year before, um, somebody else who does YouTube videos came here and I don't think he had all the fencing at that point. Um, and I think they were just around the building there in your operational car park. Um, and a couple of your colleagues really, really did him in. They like kicked him in the leg, threw him to the ground um, under the terrorism act. And he wasn't resisting. He was like pretty much being like I am, firm in his rights and his stance. Um, Have you watched the video? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you know he's not quite what he's saying. Well. Because if you're going to go into that, I'll just watch it. Have you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, all right. I mean, yeah. He, he said he didn't want to tell him what he was doing. He didn't want yeah, to tell him his cool. details, and that's absolutely fine. But he is in the police premise. Yeah. So trespassing, fine. You have yeah, the right. Yeah, you have the right to use yeah. reasonable force. That's fine. Reasonable force is reasonable force. Yeah. What they did was nothing reasonable. Everything was filmed at, on his camera. On his camera and on the body cameras. Yeah. 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 So it, he wasn't put to the floor at all. All right. You enjoy. Okay, right, sir. Uh, you're under arrest for obstructing, obstructing well, please. How am I obstructing? How am I obstructing? How am I obstructing? On the floor! How am I obstructing? How am I obstructing? Tough on you. Kill. Right, you're under arrest. Obstructing, police. Obstructing? Section there. 5, public there. order. There we go. Oh. You're on. Stop. You're on? Cool, cheers. How was that obstructing? 
Do you know that's trespass? Yeah. That's not obstructing, no, is no, it? No, no, he's gone to he's make up as well, well, so we're just arrest. Yep. But you're also under arrest, on suspicion of resisting arrest, all right? Yeah, because you lot are coming up to me and yeah, coming in. Because I found beer. Why are you still arresting here? It's as simple as that. Well, fine, I'll leave, man. No, no, you ain't going, you ain't going, mate. You ain't going anywhere. It's not happening. You ain't going anywhere now, mate. From what I remember. No. No. Because again, I'm not going to come out to you and talk about stuff that. No, no, I don't that's fine. Right. Okay, it's been, it's been a while since I watched it. Anyway, that, that video was the reason I came here in the first place. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I was just a bit bored today, so I was like, oh, because the drone is quite new, I didn't have the drone then. So I was like, oh, where haven't I been with the drone? You know, because you do get a different response. Yeah, yeah. You know. I'm uh, sure if you went to Manchester, you get a lot of different responses. Yeah, yeah. From here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you get, you, know, you get a different response in London than you do out in somewhere. Like, if I went, to, if I would stop at St. Neots on the way home, they probably wouldn't give a crap. There's probably not enough people there to notice it, you know. Um, so depending on where you go. So you've been... It's been fine about 10, 15 minutes? How much yeah, 54% uh, left. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, like I said, in, in good conditions, you can get half hour out of it. Um, that's, the, that's the optimum. I and mean, once you get low enough, you just hold it down. Landing. And it will automatically land. Yeah. But, oh, you know what I didn't do though? When I took that up, I didn't start recording. <laughs> oh, I'll have to take that up again in a minute. Because <laughs> um, your your YouTube channel is Power Slip. Follow right? Hmm? Follow right? Something like that? No, that's, that's, that's not a word. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I don't know how, but it is, that's your channel, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, we thought it was. Yeah, yeah. You found the other one from when I was here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I said. Wearing the same jeans. Yeah, same jeans, same jacket, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is my only bike here. Uh, but... Okay, should we up the landing? No, it was it was raining uh, <laughs> and the reception was closed. Fair enough. So yeah, but I, I came out to just have a look. To yeah, have a play. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He would he wouldn't give. No, he did find me. I knew you. Yeah, we hung around too long. Yeah, <laughs> knew you would. But hey, we're not going to do with anything with it. I mean, no, it's, as enough. I said, I'll come and talk to you about it. Yeah. I was genuinely interested because yeah. I don't. I like. So yeah, yeah I'll tell you what, I highly recommend it. They are good fun. Yeah. But like I said, you do have to know your legislation because you can get yourself into trouble with it. But, um, but yeah, I said to you, the reason I said to you, um, so I was arrested like a few months ago. I'm uh, actually fighting that one in court at the moment. Um, I remember but, when your, your last video came out of here, actually, because I think that was quite a positive interaction. It was, yeah. The inspector like tried to get my ID in there, but it wasn't awful. Um, really polite PC down there. Didn't have anything bad. I mean, to be honest, Bedford's been a bit of a mixed bag today. Like, down at um, Kempston police station. Um, it's been quite a busy day for us. It's quite a lot going is on. Is it? Yeah. So, so like, obviously, had uh, a woman getting a bit funny. She wanted to come to her, and then the copper came, and he was fine. Like, when I first got here, those two women were... Like they weren't great. A bit confused. So then you came, on. you and your father came great. Then I had a PC Irwin, and she was all right, but she was very confused. And she said she'll come and speak to me. As I said, I'll wait for her because she, she said she wasn't detaining me, so I'm happy to yeah. wait. Once we've had a chance to explain it to them, I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly. You'll get, but, you'll get different responses depending on what unit you see. Yeah. yeah. So for uh, for response, everything's changing for us all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we we're quite used to going. You know what? I don't know. Let me go find out, and we'll talk to you. Yeah. About it. Depending on how you are, not you specifically, how yeah. people react. It depends on whether we detain you or not, or whether we have the powers to. Well, but exactly. Quite frankly, as we've said to you, there's no point because you're, you're amicable with us. You're talking to us. Yeah. So what's the point? We might exactly. as well just go and. Yeah, out, exactly. Come back. Exactly. I'm happy to have a conversation with you. Like I said to you, like, I did, that's why I didn't want to give you my details at the time. A, because I just want to stand firm in my rights. But A, like, I know you can easily find me on the system. Um, but yeah, I was thinking that like, when I was waiting for the rain to pass to take the drone off, I was like, they're going to be in there looking for that video. They're going to yeah, search yeah. me through and they're going to know who I am. Um, yeah, there's certain ways to find it. But can I ask you, yeah. what was the reason for searching me through the PNC? Just obviously the suspicious behaviour. We had beat through PNC. Well, so how did you find me? So, YouTube. yeah, but how did you find my name from that? So we, we have other systems, so we can do intel checks and things like that. So okay. If we think that you are acting suspicious, so we mm -hmm. want to just check you are who you say you are. You mm -hmm. told us today that you've come here for a legitimate person. Yeah, yeah. Reason, sorry. You know, you've got an interest in police stations, police vehicles. Sure. If I do an intel check, and then it comes back and there's a lot more serious stuff. You've got. A, a yeah, if I got like terrorism. Past, to be fair, story. it'd be interesting. So I might have to do a from what, for that. From what I've seen, it just backs up what you've already told us. So yeah. completely satisfied uh, here for legit purpose. Yeah, exactly. We, we we have to know who we're talking about, and you're quite right. We have to have a reason to put someone through PNC. Mm -hmm. 
we didn't have the reason to put you through PNC, so we've got other systems. So we've got other systems. It's more like a soft check, basically. So to do a soft check, even that. Like, so for me personally, because at, at the time that you went in there to watch the video, I don't think that, uh, that you suspected me of committing any offences. No. No. So for me, I think that is a violation of right to privacy. I think that the police should only be able to even do a soft search that brings up my name because obviously yeah. arrests and whatever. I think that you should only be allowed to do that uh, if you have legitimate grounds because you suspect, not just suspicious behaviour, but you have what's actual your suspicions. What concerns though? What are you worried that I would do with your information? Pardon? What, what are you concerned I would do with your information? No, no, it's, it's just that thing of violation of rights. That's, yeah. that's the only thing it is. It's so more your privacy. Yeah, yeah, and that's all it is, you know. So I'll flip, I'll flip that. Yeah, yeah. You, you said you like a bit of this um, bit of conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this not breaching somebody else's privacy, taking their cards, watching your taking from over there, taking all of the details, taking their faces? Because that's all the information we had mm -hmm. with it. We've come to have a conversation with you. Sure, sure. And um, you've done a check, or say you, on a previous conversation, mm -hmm. somebody's going to look for that person. Yeah, yeah. That gives them the right to. But I don't have any systems, and neither does anybody else legally to run number plates to get information. All I can get from a number plate is it insured, is it MOT? That's you all can I can do, get. You can do a search on Google yeah. on voters. You can find out who's work, who's somewhere within the area. That actually tells you a register of who's in the area. But you can you can opt out of that register, the electoral yeah, register. Can. So again, but that onus is on the person to, to create the their privacy, MOT isn't it? Tax. But yeah, that's all. The, all you can see when they run a number play through the government website is: is it insured? Is it MOTs? Yeah. Uh, no, sorry, is it tax and MOTs? So not then you do insured. freedom of information. But that won't cover that. Which only allows you on that specific person. It wouldn't or cover you. That, yeah, that specific I, I can request my own information. Yeah, yeah. I can't. So who's to say uh, that you are who the, you're requesting? So if I were to do a subject access request for, for my information, say for example you've recorded me today, if I do a subject access request for that, the police will ask for ID. I've done it before. They need verification that I am who I am requesting the right footage. And I and I I disagree with that. that I, I think that I shouldn't I mean, have at the moment it. as well. But I suspect whatever you are. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know that set in that YouTube <laughs> channel just because it happens to be Something that sounds like you. Could be, could be. Covers the same places. But yeah, but I, I still think even doing a soft search on that, like without re with articulable suspicion of a, of a specific offence, I think it is a violation of privacy, personally. No, um, it is something that I will go away and I will probably do a freedom of information request, not a subject of access request, to your chief um, constable yeah. about whether or not that is proper use, whether or not you do have the authority to run those checks within the absence yeah, of fine. a suspected offence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the suspicion isn't a crime. I find lots of things suspicious. You find lots of things yeah. suspicious. Obviously, you have more access to more... And it's more our job to find things suspicious. Yeah, but, you know, finding so, something suspicious, in, in, unless you suspect a specific offence... I just find it a huge violation of privacy, personally. For you, but, for you, and for our feedback, yeah, how yeah. would you, how would you like the police to be able to understand who we're dealing with? Bearing in mind, we don't deal with like you're being really nice, you're sure, being sure. really kind to us talking. Yeah, yeah, I'm not always. Trust me. If you no, go watch them on more videos, you'll be rest assured. I'm not always. It but depends how, on how it how for it starts. Our job, yeah, yeah. For who we deal with and everything like that. Mm -hmm. How would you like us to deal with these people that are not? in their rights yeah. don't need to tell us yeah. but we need to know who we're dealing with just in case they're either wanted for an offence yeah. um, we need to know who they are so we can get the relevant medical documents right. to give them the care right. such as if you've been in custody the medical practitioner will but if you've been in custody you've been arrested and you're legally obliged to identify at that point once you've been once you've been right. remanded in custody After by the death by the due death sergeant you are legally obliged to identify yeah. so at that point but you would know at that point anyway yeah. before you're, that you're thinking of like yourself, you're following yeah, yeah. the law. Yeah, yeah. Again, somebody illegal, there are requirements. If, if you suspect me of committing an offence to the point where you're going to arrest yeah. me, then legally, yeah. if, it's, if it's a lawful arrest, so, but, if it's I mean, a lawful arrest, I have to identify. So today, me doing some checks, and yeah, some yeah. checks, that either strengthens or weakens your account of what you told me is going on today. So if sure. I did some checks and then it comes back to some completely different stuff, mm -hmm. then my suspicion that actually maybe you're here for an ulterior motive, sure. and what you told me is a completely like, possible yeah, yeah. to go up. But me doing that check, yeah, actually yeah. backs up what you said, and that alleviates any concerns that we've got. So, so if I go back to my question, yeah, yeah. how would you like us to operate if we don't have those systems, mm -hmm. PNC completely understand, because mm -hmm. that is really quite detailed. Yeah. How are we meant to deal with people? Bearing in mind that we're dealing with people that break the law a lot. Sure. How are we meant to operate? If uh, you're saying all about 
this person is legally yeah, obliged, yeah, but this person is also nicked something. Or this person's also damaged something. Sure. We're um, clearly uh, not going to follow them all. No. So how, how would you like us to operate if we can't delve into that information? Honestly, I think that responsibility is on you guys to figure that out. And I don't think that anybody, any citizen in this country should have to give up their rights in order to aid the police. That's why I'm okay. asking your no, no, that's what, and that's, that, that is my opinion. My opinion is that you shouldn't. So you're I, telling I, us you shouldn't, but you wouldn't be able to give us an alternative. Today, no, I, 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 I think... You haven't given up any privacy today, have you? Uh, not willingly. No. No. So, <laughs> no. You, you haven't had to, have you? Like, I haven't forced no. anything out of you. You haven't forced you anything out of me. Any no, no, no. We've had a friendly chat. Yeah, yeah. off the back of that. See, but I've the, done some but this, this is, to but, but because I've had this too. discourse with you, oh, as soon as you came over, I could have been pig ignorant Very and good. just said, fuck off, I don't want no, to talk to you. That you, been you know, <laughs> but <laughs> because I've talked to you today and I've had this discourse with you and I've said too much, that's given you the information to go search me. You know what I mean? And this, guys, this is why you don't talk to the police. Don't do what PTTP has done today. Um, and, and it is, you know, but I'm not that bothered about you guys finding out who I am because, no, you know, we didn't uh, think uh, it would be. yeah, like after I said, I've, it is just purely just yeah. so we can kind of back up your account. Yeah, said, but after I've gone away, you could have found it out anyway yeah, when this went up. What flavour? Mixed berries at the moment? I don't know. Just, it's actually running out of these But, um, but yeah, honestly, like, yeah, this is why you don't talk to the police. And this is why silence is golden when you talk to the police, really. Because so if I'd come here and said nothing, and you didn't know what my voice sounded like, you didn't know who I was, you didn't know I'd been here before, you didn't know I was here when the fire extinguishers were getting this, all of this stuff, when you've watched the video, you know the sound of my voice, you know I was here in that specific is video. That, is that not putting a negative feel out to your viewers? No. Why, I, why not? Because sorry, I didn't mean to upload no, no, face. Sorry, that's, that's very rude. I'm used to um, but when, when you're dealing with the police, we're no. not here to cause issues. I no, mean, no. Eight, nine times out of ten, if you talk to us, tell us everything. Yeah. Tell you, tell us who you are. Yeah, yeah. Not that alleviates okay, the fact but, that we've got a risk. So say, say I was wanted for anything, yeah, yeah. right? And you've gone and searched me. You found out. I'm. You now have enough information to know that I, I am who I am. I'm wanted. wanted or not because I haven't done the PNT check. Anymore. Okay. So, but so, okay. I don't know. Say my my story didn't back up what uh, my the so, so you done. and, and you're suspicion right? Okay. right? So you, now you have reasonable suspicion to detain and search me under Section One under drone laws because you think I've committed an offence or whatever it is, yeah. right? I've aided you in your investigation against myself. I've self-incriminated, haven't I? So you're trying to basically advise your viewers: don't give too much because you don't want them to self. You never so. self-incriminate. You should not. You should never self-incriminate. I'm not here doing well, anything today, illegal today, especially what you told us. Yeah. You haven't been able to hide, you're here for a legitimate reason, so why would you still hold because, back Because, because, not always, so you've got, you've got to search me, fine. Not everybody can be so reasonable and... As in like, the police? Yeah, as in the police. And some people will say anything that, the smallest little detail that doesn't match up with what I, my account of what I've given you when we've spoken, they, the, the police will turn that and twist that to look for anything they can to detain, search you and find is further. Is this from personal experience or is this Yes, from, from personal experience, from lots of experience of seeing it happen to other people. Officer, I would never do that. No, I'm not saying you would. And I'm not, I'm not saying every police officer would, but... You've had experience in but, the past. Yeah, like absolutely. Okay, um, and, well, I mean, and like I said, I'm suing the Metropolitan Police at the moment for a legal search. Um, and that's, funny enough, I didn't say anything. Yeah. And they used my silence and my lack of willing to give ID to use a section 43 on me. Right. You're not allowed to just throw around a stop and search power because I refuse to identify. That's not how the law works. You know, st standing firm and asserting my rights doesn't make, See, that cannot be used as a, a, a way to heighten your suspicion. A court will not take the law. Yeah. Arresting someone, we have to meet certain criteria. Of course. If you are completely honest with us, mm -hmm. tell us who you are. Nine times out of ten, we're not going to arrest you because we know who you are. You've come to us, you're speaking to us. There's no reason to arrest you. But then why should I have to sacrifice my human right of Article 8, the right to a private and home and family life? I'm not saying you have but, to, but it can make your life easier just if people are open and honest from the outset. Yeah. Because yeah, then, if when people are negative towards police, a lot of the time it does build that suspicion. So yeah. For us, I mean, again, this, this is what I'm saying. Right but standing firm in your rights, your right to privacy, my right to freedom of expression, which is what I'm doing with the filming, um, disseminating you're, you're information. Doing that now. And I mean, we're having a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite, quite, I mean, we're, there's no, <laughs> yeah. he's got all the gear, I've got already. That's about it. Yeah, yeah. But you've spoken to us, you've yeah, yeah. opened it up, you've had a dialogue. With yeah, us. yeah. We're not, there's nothing bad. We're not twisting anything. No, you're not, and I'm not saying every, oh, okay. I'm not saying every officer would, yeah, but yeah. I'm saying there are those that would. And I don't know you from Adam, you don't know me from Adam. Yeah. 
I don't know that you were this kind of guy. And you're just going to have a chat. Yeah, we're yeah. going to have a civil discourse. You just going to see someone walking towards you. Yeah, exactly. And so then we we flip that onto us. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You, I said to you earlier, you guys are really building this connect between yourselves and the public right now, and this is what we want. We want this conversation. So we, we want this we flip amicability. That onto our side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, you said I don't know you, Fred, and I'm, you don't know me, Fred. Sure, sure. We go into situations whereby people have weapons, they really want to hurt people, yeah, yeah. Uh, and they really want to hurt us. Not always, but the majority of that is towards us because we're seen as the conflict side. Mm. Which, I mean, I would, the statistics I would support that, though. Do they? Yeah. Do so, you, so, so if from you go 2000. To Oh, you go to a restaurant yeah, and have yeah. a bad experience. How many people hear about that bad experience? More than what would hear about a good experience. So is that, that not the same concept? You're a psychologist at the end of it. So, you, so are you taking one strand or are you taking... No, and this is why I'll upload this. And this is going to be a two-part yeah. video because it has been a lengthy <laughs> one, you know. Sorry. But uh, no, you're all good. It's, it's fine. Um, but, you know, and, and that's why... So, Go, go, go. Yeah. Okay. But this is why I'll upload this equally as much as I will upload a bad interaction. Because have it is important to show... around. coming out of us for a ride along. See, I've said that, as people have said that to me before. I wouldn't be allowed to film. I wouldn't be shown. It's, it's like in a research study. If I tell you what specifically what I'm researching from the get go, you're going to be trying to answer the questions that I'm putting to you in a way in accordance with what you think I want you to answer. Think, and it's the same as if I go right along. You're going to be acting in a way knowing that you're being observed. Yes and no. I think what you'll find. So I'm a response officer, so we just did one with the 999 call. Okay, yeah, yeah. A lot of that's concerns, domestics. Domestic yeah, stuff. yeah. So the call comes through, we get the details, lead lights come on, and we go straight out to it. If we had a ride along with us, they're literally just there for the ride along. We don't have the time to think about them, well, obviously, we think about their safety and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. But they're coming to whatever job we go to and they see how we have to deal with it on a day to day basis. And I think from a, like a YouTube auditor's perspective, yeah, yeah. if you actually came out and saw that side of the world yeah, yeah. from our eyes, it would probably change your views on the police. No, I, I grew up on a council estate in a rough part, so I, I see it all from exactly. so all sides. Probably, you've got a taste of that side yeah. of things. I mean, a lot of what I've seen from YouTube videos and things of social media, it's all this pretty bubble where they come to police headquarters, they yeah. see police officers that may not be based in the office. Yeah, yeah. They have those interactions and that's it, but they're not seeing what we're doing as officers going out there. And I fully appreciate that. People, yeah, but then you've got your cop shows that show this, haven't you? Yeah. Yes, and no, because again, that's all very heavily edited. Yeah, of course. They yeah. can't really show the truth. See, that's the thing. That's the beauty of what I do. I really don't edit. Much. It's the only I thing I meet now today, have this conversation with you. Yeah. Um, you've got no idea what I've been to today, what I've seen. No, what of course. With, and then of I course. still have to have this conversation with you. If I, like some officers, if they've dealt with some horrific things, maybe involving children or death or something like that, sure, they, sure. they come to a YouTuber who then might come across aggressive or not as nice as you have today. Yeah, yeah. You can see how the conflict yeah. can build up. But, but then the same way that, you know, uh, when you guys approached, I didn't instantly think, oh, the five, oh, here we go, fucking pigs, this, that, and the other. And I gave you your due chance to be civil and polite, and you've given me the same, which is why this has got to where it is. I, I still think you, you know, should consider maybe yeah. doing a ride along and just come and see it from the other side. If you can't get any content for it, yeah. it'll still be interesting for you as a person to see what you do on the other side. Potentially. You, you will see it from our side because we get, we get a lot of you guys coming in. Um, some are a lot less yeah. um, for it. But, but it depends. Ne Honestly, this, if the two females that I initially interacted with, if they had stayed and carried on the interaction, this wouldn't be ending the way it's ending now. Like, it would have gone a whole different route and I wouldn't be being the nice guy that I am now so because would, they were not okay. Would you have been that person to escalate it? Uh, I would have been the person to call them out for what they've done, like demanding ID because they don't know who I am and I'm filming a police station. Demanding it, not requesting it, demanding it. I probably would have called them out on that and I would have been very upset about it. Is there a fine line between you escalating it and you standing your ground? I think there is a fine line between that and there are times where I have escalated it and there are times where they've escalated it and there's yeah. times where we've all escalated yeah, it. But you guys are trained, especially as a sergeant, you're trained in de-escalation. It's, it's a crucial part of your job. But you've done your, your training in psychology as well. You Con knew what the consumer time psychology. Was. I'm not. I'm not a psychoanalyst. I'm not no, a therapist. You, you, you know. You knew what the but, box was. So yeah. You know. You know how the mind works. You're not a, a stupid lad. You're a very intelligent lad. Mm. So if you're if you're saying that it would have escalated, would you have been that person to escalate it, or would it have been a, a joint thing? So. <sighs> I, I, you, you weren't there, I'm going to see it. No, no, I know, that's, that's but so how it started was, you know, they just stopped, that's what I'm doing. I said, what do you mean? I'm just taking videos. You can't take videos, you can't do that. Who are you? Have you got your ID on you? I'm like, why would you want my ID? That's what I said, why would you want my ID? Because, it's, you know, I'm, I'm not going to willingly give up my ID. We've been through why. 
Um, if, if, if somebody then, I've had a call where a PCSO has tried to say that there is legislation, and quote, completely bogus legislation, saying that he could demand my ID. Mm -hmm. And I did call him some very horrible names. And I did get very irate because this is not stop an ID Nazi Germany. We won the war. This is a free country. We have our human rights, as much as the Tories are trying to change that at the moment. But we have our rights, and I, I won't willingly forfeit them. Um, I imagine the PCSO yeah. probably took that as a learning curve probably went I hope away so. and read up on it. I hope so. And I hope that when they see this and they see how they initially interacted and how, how that was going and how you guys came and de-escalated it and how, where it's got to, I really hope they see the benefit in not going in with that initial bias that they obviously had. I didn't have that bias when you approached me. No, no, not at all. No, you no. Know, I'll give everybody their fair due. I, I enjoy these conversations as much yeah. as you do. That's why I'm asking hard yeah, questions. Yeah. And no, um, I, I, I'll tell you what, I love the hard conversations. They are brilliant. <laughs> but it's, I, I just go back to the, how would you like us to deal with things? Because you're saying that we don't have all of these intels, we don't have, you don't think that we should have access mm -hmm. to them. But then we're going in blind. Again, if you have suspicion of a, an offence, then yeah, by all means, you should have those systems to be able to utilise them. But just having a suspicion, you could find somebody walking down the street in this gear and this weather, because I am overdressed for the weather today, it's been fucking hot and I'm sweating my balls off. But you could find that suspicious. Yeah, and right. then you could the like... The line for us today though, obviously this is a lot more common nowadays, but yeah, yeah, the bottom line is you are still filming a police station. Yeah, yeah. And there could be a million reasons for that. Yeah, yeah. You have given a reason, which is fair enough. Yeah, yeah. All I've done is just check to back up that reason. So, are you were saying like about us checking people walking down the street, we weren't just checking for no reason, but you are at a police station. Yeah. It. But again, it depends on what suspicion is a subjective thing. There's no definition of what's suspicious no, to a constable. Exactly. Each constable has their own definition of what's suspicious. If any, if a, a constable that's not so good as yourselves came along and found something completely ridiculous and inane suspicious, they could easily abuse even a soft search to find out who somebody is, mm -hmm. and that can easily be abused by constables. People are up on disciplinary that all across the country. Is it five or six now? Well, of the, uh, hang on, five or six of the forces right, in this country. Nowadays, nowadays, on body -worn video, yeah. Now, yeah, yeah. Everything is recorded on body-worn video. If someone like yourself wants to make a complaint, that can be referred to the IOPC and it's all looked into. Officers yeah. are either but, educated I mean, or that gets lost sometimes. Hey? That gets lost sometimes. The reason that you found me when I was arrested for allegedly filming inside a prison um, what the body warrant is lost. Yeah. So the, the police came looking for me at my girlfriend's house at two o'clock in the morning. I wasn't there, I was at home. She says, no, he's not here, he's at home. If they've got her address, they've got mine. They never rock up at mine. So I say to her, I was like, well, do a subject access request for the body warrant footage because I want to know what was said and what happened. Because she was home alone. Uh, they said she didn't, they didn't identify him, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we did a request for that footage. And there's no record of Norfolk police ever turning how, up at her address. How long after the incident did you? With it, within the time frame, yeah, that gets held for right, 28 days. I was going to say, days. obviously, if we don't yeah. mark it, it will no, get No, it gets 28 days, it gets held for. But obviously, because it was part of an active investigation looking for uh, somebody who was wanted, that would have been marked as held, because that's potentially the evidence in the court case. So that would have been held anyway. But they're saying, not, not that I can't have access to it because it's part of an investigation, they're saying they have no record of ever attending that address at that time. This is why the police can be, and I'm not saying all. Mm -hmm. Not like, or, not like, like, not all auditors and YouTubers are no, confrontational. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But you know, so your body warns great. But this is why I constantly record as well when I'm in track because it doesn't always go so swimmingly. Yeah. That does get lost. Well, I'm sure you see for us nowadays. As soon as we pull up to an incident in public, everyone. Oh yeah, absolutely. I was, well, I saw away. an arrest happening as I was walking up here. I saw blues going around the corner there, so I went and filmed it. You know. Uh, it's much better. Like uh, potentially. Yeah, it's only like a little 10 minute video, but you know. But, um, you know, but I, I did that because A, for the officer's safety, but also B, for the people that were getting arrested for their safety. Yeah. Because. What would you do in an incident that required help? It, so if it, officer, for example. If an, for, uh, if an officer was actually struggling with someone, what would you yeah. do? If. Say I was pressing if, someone on the floor now and I said to you, yeah. excuse me, can you grab his legs? What would you do? If I had seen why you were trying to tackle them to the ground, say I had seen them, say now I randomly struck out at you, uh, I would expect the passerby to stop and help you. They've seen me do it, fine. If I've seen somebody do what you're trying to detain them for, I probably would aid you in it. If I haven't seen what's going on, no I wouldn't, because I wouldn't know that what, the, the, what you're doing is right, and I wouldn't want to aid you in abusing somebody and assaulting somebody. So, if so I've you've seen, you've seen a knife on the floor, you've seen someone hit someone, 
you're yeah. saying you'd assist that officer. Yes, always. Put the camera down. Yeah, yeah. And focus on yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, yeah, always. Is an officer struggling with someone trying to arrest them? Is that enough? No. Not if I haven't seen what's happened. Because, right. again, I've been handcuffed unnecessarily, I've been stopped and searched unnecessarily, and I know for a fact that it happens where the police are using too much force for the situation. Yeah. They detaining somebody without grounds or arresting somebody without grounds and it happens all over the country all the time so, and so I, it wouldn't be enough for me no because I, I, I would want to know for my sake like so my, I wouldn't want to be party to assaulting an innocent citizen if they turned out to be an innocent citizen if I'd seen what's happened then yeah I would but so then we'll flip that what happens if they're not an innocent citizen well and they have done what the officer is saying I that, mean, that officer's then come out with a broken finger, for example. A broken finger in October. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. But then, okay, so and I get what you're saying with that. But, but then, but then, if they were innocent and I've aided, and they've, and they've come, and the person come out with a broken finger, it goes both ways. How do you weigh that up as, as a conscientious person? Unless you've seen what's happened, how do you weigh that up? I'm how do you think, know? I mean, you, what you're asking for is an inherent trust the in the police. should have faith in the police and trust our judgment that if we are trying to arrest someone. Uh, we should, and I completely agree, we should trust the police. That's why we have the Pelion principles and that's what we're meant to work by, police by consent, public and the police, police and the public. We're meant to, that's how this country is meant to be. But unfortunately there is a huge disconnect between police and the public. And like I said, five forces, I think it's five or maybe six forces in this country are under special measures right now. It's not for no reason, is it? No. The disconnect is there between the police and the public and you guys are working brilliantly at building that back up. And I, I like it when we get interactions like this because it is building that. So is it know. the majority or is it the few that are causing this? Um, I would say it's the few, but as you were saying about when something bad happens, you go to a restaurant, you get something bad, how many people does that reach versus how many, when something good happens, how many does that reach? When something bad happens, I, I will upload this. This probably won't get as many views as if you were to tackle me to the ground people right like now. To see some action people like drama, yeah. they do. You know, I, I try not to instigate drama just for the sake of the video. But if it happens, I mean, there's a lot of YouTubers that do. Yeah, that. some do, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to name that, names. That was going to be my next question: yeah. whether you actually upload the good stuff as well. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I mean, uh, this month my videos sure. have absolutely done crap because I've only had good interactions this month. Are uh, you going to like edit this and then put really evil music over the top of it? <laughs> the tone of the video? No, 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 absolutely not. Honestly, the only thing that I'll do is edit out time where I was waiting around for PCO and time when I was looking up that drone legislation after we had the first chat. And that's the only part I'm going to edit out. Now, um, did, did I at least stump you a little bit? You, you made me doubt. Like I said, I was 98%. I was 98%. No, I'll take that as a so, you got the, so you got the 2% <laughs> in there. But as I said, I've double checked. I'm still not, I'm not 100% convinced. That's fair yeah. enough. So, well, you know who I, I, I am, said, so. I'm not the expert. Yeah. I'm surprised this isn't a red zone, but I imagine that will probably get looked into if we're going to start to get more and more drones arriving. No, nope, police stations aren't. There, there's no reason for it. You know, there, there, there's, there's absolutely no reason for it. Because you, you don't have any air, you don't have, if you have like a helicopter base here, like say like a hospital with an air ambulance, even a lot of them, all you've got to do with a sub 250 drone is if you see a helicopter coming or another aircraft coming, is you've just got to make a consult, consorted effort to move out of the way. If we've got our drone up, because we often have it at HQ for training and whatnot, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. would your app like notify you of that or only, if, only if you've registered that your drone's going up so uh, if, if you're flying over a 250 it would be expected that um, on the altitude app uh, you, you would be expected to register that your drone's going up in this area let them know and it would come up with a blue zone saying this drone's going up and, um, and then I would know and I would know to avoid that area I watched a video the other day where somebody went to a police base and, and the police came out and said oh we've got a drone up you need to get yours down he's like well why the fuck have you not uh, updated the app you know, it's like that, that responsibility is yours. Um, so, I don't know where in helipads land could be made from. Yeah. No. Uh, but we've yeah, got but a field out the back, so yeah. if we ever need one for an emergency, they just use the field. Yeah. yeah, but the, the only police stations that are ever covered by a red zone is if they're already within uh, a restricted flight zone because of something else, because of an airport. Some prisons have a radius around them. The Bedford one is literally just the radius of the prison. Some have a 2.5 nautical mile radius around the prison, um, usually cat A prisons, because um, obviously they're at a higher risk. Um, but I'm not allowed to go to prisons at the moment, that's a different story. Well, it's probably a good thing. Too. Bail conditions. Who wants to go to prison? Uh, but yeah. yeah. No, 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 it's good.
How are we doing? Oh, this has been a very long shot. You'll yeah. have to watch it to catch up. <laughs> yeah. we'll, um, I'll leave you to it. Yeah, I'll leave you to it, guys. I don't need to crack nice on again. Can I get a handshake from anyone? It's been a pleasure to meet Absolutely. you all. And, uh, Cheers, mate. I really hope you have a lovely day. Yeah, so Take care, you. guys. Oh, guys, so <laughs> there we go. This is going to be a massively, massively long video. Um, this is going to have to be a huge two-parter. This is going to be like 45 minutes each. I've been here like an hour and a half now. Gutted that I didn't um, press record with the drone when I had it up in the air because I'm an idiot. I keep doing that. Um, but, you know, I'll, uh, you can see from this footage that I was flying. Um, yeah absolutely properly gutted about that um so yeah they did uh, manage to find out who i am uh i did hang around too long i did tell them too much and at the end of the day guys this is why you don't talk to the police um fortunately for me it hasn't ended badly i'm obviously not wanted for anything complying with my bail conditions and uh not breaking the law so um, <laughs> but yeah, it's all fun and games, guys. All fun and games. Um, but I tell you what, I hate to think how much money was just wasted on those coppers standing there and talking to me for that amount of time. Um, <laughs> I think that was probably a lot of money, a lot of money. Um, but yeah, so. What more can I say, really? Um, other than I like the fact that they were able to have that discourse with me. Didn't get too funny about it. We had some hard questions from either side. Um, I don't feel like we ever really came to an accord on it. But, hey, you can't have it all. Um, you know, the sergeant said he's still not 100% convinced uh, that I was flying legally. Uh, and time will tell if I, can, if I get a knock on the door for a summary offence or whatever, then we'll find out down the line. So, uh, yeah, I've said I know who I am. But yeah, let me know, specifically let me know, guys, what you think about the police being able to do a soft search like they did um, just for suspicion. Not for suspicion of a specific event, but just because they find my behaviour suspicious. Let me know what you think about that. Um, obviously, you heard their arguments for it and you heard mine. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to wrap that up, guys. This is already a long enough video. Uh, till the next one, stay safe and ta-ra.